Ziggy, if you hear me, take me far, far from here. When Scott Bakula's Instagram came alive on September 15th, after nine months of radio silence, it couldn't be just a coincidence that his social media was sputtering to life only a few days before the launch of a new Quantum Leap series that he was painfully absent from. And as we expected, that is exactly what the Instagram post was about. Bakula wanted to set the record straight. But while his words would confirm the news fans have already known for quite some time, that Bakula would not be reprising his role as the beloved Dr. Sam Beckett, there was something in the message that took us completely off guard. Scott wrote of the difficult decision to pass on the project. What? Oh no! I, I, uh, you, you were a, uh, you mean you? Did he just say he passed on Quantum Leap? We felt like victims who had been drugged by someone they trusted. You were gonna drug me? This was directly contrary to what we were told by his longtime publicist. NBC insiders had said one thing. Bakula's publicist had said the opposite. And now here is the legend himself saying something else. Why would the heart and soul of Quantum Leap say something contrary to his camp and let NBC off the hook? Why are longtime fans being robbed of the continuation we've been waiting 30 years for? Who is telling the Quantum Leap lie? And why? Well, we plan to tell you, so you don't want to miss this episode. Also, make sure you stay tuned until later, where we'll show you how Exter is revolutionizing the most important thing we put in our pocket. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so now. And give us a thumbs up if you want more inside knowledge about your favorite shows. And make sure you stay tuned to the end to see how to get this awesome Quantum Leap inspired graphic design from the amazing artists at MixedTease.com. Oh. oh boy. The image for Bakula's Instagram post couldn't be more perfect. It was from the Quantum Leap episode, The Right Hand of God, and it shows Sam in a boxing ring ready to fight with Hologram Al by his side. The fight over whether Bakula would be in the new Quantum Leap show is something we've been up to our ears in since the news of a new pilot being ordered by NBC came out back in January. When the news dropped, we were extremely optimistic that Scott would reprise his role as he'd been working toward just that goal for years. He, Dean Stockwell, and creator Donald Belisario had wanted to bring the show back for a long time, but it was tied up over rights issues. Stockwell, who played Al and is arguably as important to the original show as Beckett, passed away only two months before the pilot announcement came out. Knowing Belisario was attached to the new show, we were sad Stockwell couldn't be in it, but we were incredibly confident that Bakula would be back. Because there is literally no reason he wouldn't or couldn't come back. NCIS New Orleans was over, and he had no commitments on his plate. And if that wasn't enough, it was confirmed that Bakula was in talks with NBC about the new show. We went into great detail with all of this in a video on January 21st. What could go wrong? Apparently everything. Shortly after that video came out, we were sent the call sheet for actors NBC wanted for the new pilot. Notably, there was no description of Dr. Sam Beckett, and that had us concerned, but perhaps they just didn't need to include him since he was already likely on board. We put out a video breaking down the whole situation, and shortly after producing that video, we were approached by a confirmed NBC insider who shared with us that Bakula had turned down Quantum Leap to star and executive produce another NBC show called Unbroken, which would be in the vein of the popular Yellowstone TV show. Why is for the Yellowstone? On March 16th, we went out with this news on our live show as well as Twitter, and we were immediately hit with a wall of backlash from Scott Bakula fans. Apparently, Facebook fan groups had already been way ahead of this and they were angrily coming to the defense of Bakula, who they insisted wanted to do Quantum Leap, but it was NBC who was keeping it from happening. Just ask Scott's publicist, they said. So that's exactly what we did. Jay Schwartz, who'd been a close friend to Bakula since the start of his career, was eager to set the story straight. Schwartz shared with us that Bakula wanted to do Quantum Leap for years. He said he loved the show and very much wanted to reprise his role as Dr. Sam Beckett the moment the opportunity came up again. He was very interested, Schwartz insisted. The problem, according to the publicist, was that NBC wasn't. He confirmed that Bakula and NBC had been in talks, but then was 
adamant that NBC chose to go another direction. While unwilling to provide specifics, Schwartz wanted it on the record that Bakula wanted to do the show, but NBC had other ideas. And this is why Bakula decided to do Unbroken. So who was telling the truth? Was it the NBC insider or was it Scott's circle of trust publicist? Could this image on his Instagram post be Scott telling us more than he can put into words? And could it reveal who is telling the lie? We believe so. But before we go deeper into that, let me quickly tell you why you are going to love this video sponsor, Exter. We just threw away our old wallets. Wanna know why? Because we just discovered the most efficient smart wallet in the world. Exter has revolutionized the wallet and we will never go back to Bifold. We are so impressed. Exter wallets are super slim and sleek. They are half the size of a conventional Bifold wallet. Compact and modular, they hold 12 cards or more plus cash. And that means no more stuffing that bulky, worn out Bifold wallet into your back pocket. Forget sitting on that uncomfortable lump and slide Exter into your front pocket instead. This high quality wallet combines Italian leather, space grade aluminum, and carbon fiber, plus it includes built-in RFID blocking to protect you from wireless theft. And you know how hard it can be to replace all of your cards if your wallet is stolen. Exter includes a tracking card to help you keep an eye on your belongings with a map, and you can even ring it for location assistance. This is the last wallet you'll ever buy. To get an extra wallet like ours, visit shop.exter.com slash thepopcast. Get 25% off your order when you use code thepopcast at checkout. Join the wallet revolution and upgrade your quality of life with Exter today. I am a man. And I'll prove it to you. No! After Bakula's publicist pointed the finger at NBC and without any new information from the NBC Insider, we revealed to the world on April 9th everything we knew up until this point. And with no official comment from NBC Universal, we reported that NBC said no to the return of Dr. Sam Beckett. And for five months, there was nothing new to report. That said, the fan reaction to no Scott Bakula in the new Quantum Leap would quickly begin to make noise. And when the trailer for the new show popped, on September 8th, and there was a young Asian man leaping through time as opposed to the familiar face of Dr. Sam Beckett, the fan backlash started to get very loud. So much so that Bakula felt inclined to put out his Instagram post. And this is what it said. To Quantum Leap fans around the world, in an effort to quiet the rumors and move on. First of all, thanks for hanging around through the decades. Here's the simple version of what's going on with the Quantum Leap reboot and me. I have no connection with the new show, either in front of the camera or behind it. In January, the pilot was sold and a script was sent to me because the character of Sam Beckett was in it, which makes sense, right? As so many of you have been asking me the last several months, how could you do Quantum Leap without Sam? Or Al, for that matter. Well. I guess we're about to find out. That's the story. As the show has always been near and dear to my heart, it was very difficult to pass on the project, a decision that has upset and confused so many fans of the original series. However, the idea of anyone leaping around in time and walking a mile in someone else's shoes remains a very appealing concept and so worthy of exploration, especially given the current state of mankind. In that spirit, I am crossing my fingers that this new cast and crew are lucky enough to tap into the magic that propelled the original Quantum Leap into the hearts and minds of generations past and present. I wish them good luck and happy leaping. So was Bakula's publicist lying? Did Scott simply say, nah, thanks, but no thanks? Yeah, I wanted to do it for 30 years, but yeah, I changed my mind all of a sudden. Oh boy. We have to take a closer look at that picture. Why did he choose an image of him fighting? It's totally contrary to the words he used about the current state of mankind and good luck and happy leaping. Well, you can read his statement and it becomes pretty clear. This wasn't written from a place of passion and love. This was a clear response to a request from NBC executives who asked Scott to calm the fans down before a bunch of 40, 50, and 60 year old Quantum Leap fans go full rings of power on the new show as soon as it launches. Galadriel. Studios clearly understand there is now a danger of fans showing their frustration in a classic show's new format via negative reviews and amped up social media posts that talk about a show more more concerned about checking boxes than making something the fans will love. You can see it clearly in his first words, to Quantum Leap fans around the world in an effort to quiet the rumors and move on. 
why quiet the rumors, Scott? Why do they need to move on? Oh boy. It sounds just like someone said, hey, Scott, can you go and quiet the rumors so we can move on? Note that he is very careful about what he is saying here. He wants everyone to know he has absolutely no connection to the new show. The explanation goes on to say the pilot was sold and a script was sent to him because Sam Beckett was in it. Now he says something important. He says about Sam being in the show, which makes sense, right? Then he says, how could you do Quantum Leap without Sam or Al? To which he said, I guess we're about to find out. That is not an answer. That's an admission of things beyond his control. Scott, please blink your eyes to let us know if you're in danger. He's a hostage. He or someone who wrote something down for him to put out goes on to say, it was very difficult to pass on the project. He recognizes that it has upset many fans, but then he goes on to say the idea is still great and good luck to the new people on the show. So what gives? Who's telling the big quantum leap lie? The answer is no one. We believe the truth is that Scott Bakula very much wanted to do Quantum Leap, and NBC very much wanted him to do the show. But when they met to discuss it, Bakula was offered a smaller role than he was willing to play. I mean, think about it. How do you go from the lead of NCIS New Orleans to a member Barry on the legacy show that you built with your own two hands? Oh, I remember. A show you've been wanting to bring back to TV for 30 years. When Bakula says it was a difficult decision to pass on the project, it probably was. He'd been carrying the torch for years, and when the time finally came, they didn't want him as the lead. This matches up with the NBC insider saying Bakula turned down the role, as well as his publicist saying NBC wanted to go in another direction. Bakula turned down a small role on Quantum Leap because NBC wanted to go another direction with Dr. Ben Song. And being the great guy Scott is, he probably really considered it. But at what cost? He's not getting any younger. And since his decision to do Unbroken came came shortly after this event, it's likely the project was something Bakula was already working on. He will have complete control of his show, and chances are that was just not going to be the case on Quantum Leap. There are a lot of us who are broken hearted that he won't be able to continue the story with Sam. And this Instagram post and Bakula specifically pointing out that he has no connection to the show is a reality that we are going to have to get used to. Considering he currently works for the studio, it would be very hard for Scott to come out and say that NBC shortchanged all of us on this one. Instead, he posts a picture of him in the ring to let us know he fought like hell, but pound for pound NBC was too much for him. But of course, never say never in Hollywood. If Quantum Leap manages to hold on for a few seasons, perhaps Bakula will change his mind and give us some member berries we'd greatly enjoy. Oh, they're adorable. Perhaps he'll at the very least allow us longtime fans to have some closure and give Dr. Sam Beckett at least one more leap, the leap home. But instead of starting with once upon a time, let's start with the happy ending. What do you think? Are you going to watch Quantum Leap without Scott Bakula? Do you think NBC should have given him a bigger role, or should Scott have taken whatever they would give him? If you've seen the new show, what are your thoughts? Would you like Sam to show up as a cameo at the very least? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Also, support the channel and check out this incredible Quantum Leap inspired graphic design in our store. Get 20% off your purchase by using coupon code THEPOPCAST. The link is in the description below. And also, don't forget to check out the extra wallets in the link below. They are really fantastic. This is where it all started. Oh, it started. Quantum Leap. Thank you.